The German Ministry of Defense has announced an updated military aid package for Ukraine that includes the delivery of 20 Martyr 1A-3 infantry fighting vehicles to the Ukrainian army. Ukraine is already operating a fleet of the German-made Martyr IFVs, though 11 of them have either been abandoned, destroyed, or damaged by the Russian forces. The Martyr 1A-3 is a 33.5-ton platform capable of carrying up to six passengers, apart from its crew of three. It is powered by a 600-horsepower engine, has a top speed of 65 kilometers per hour, and an operational range of over 500 kilometers. The Martyr 1A3 is armed with a 20mm automatic cannon that is complemented by a 7.62mm machine gun. The Ukrainian soldiers have been impressed by the performance of the Martyr 1A3 and have compared it favorably against its Russian counterparts. Germany's decision to deliver 20 Martyr 1A3 IFVs to Ukraine is aimed at reinforcing the Ukrainian armored forces in their fight against the Russian troops. The Kaplan medium-weight main battle tank is all set to undergo trials in Brazil. The Kaplan MT, also known as Haramau, has been jointly developed by the Turkish defense firm FNSS and the Indonesian weapons manufacturer Pindad. It is armed primarily with a 105mm high-pressure rifled cannon that's accompanied by a 7.62mm coaxial machine gun. The tank is powered by a 711 horsepower engine and boasts of a top speed of 78 kilometers per hour. Its crew is protected by Stanag Level 4 armor that can be upgraded by adding modular armor panels. The tank is expected to reach Brazil by mid-April, where it is slated to undergo military evaluation and also participate in the Cavalry Festival. The Royal Netherlands Air Force is all set to upgrade its fleet of MQ-9A unmanned aerial vehicles in collaboration with General Atomics Aeronautical Systems. The planned upgrades include the integration of maritime radars, a dedicated communications relay, long-range fuel tanks, advanced electronic support measures, and weaponry. The MQ-9 is amongst the most iconic UAVs in the world and is known for its long endurance and diverse payload carrying capacity. Its modular design allows for rapid customizations to be made to the platform in order to meet the specific requirements of its operator. The upgrades requested by the Royal Netherlands Air Force are scheduled to be undertaken over the next three years and once complete, they would significantly improve upon the capabilities of the Dutch MQ-9 fleet. The Swedish government is considering the possibility of supplying its advanced Gripen fighter aircrafts to Ukraine. The Gripen aircraft is renowned for being an extremely versatile and maintenance-friendly platform. It boasts of advanced avionics, sensors and weapon systems that allow it to operate effectively even in heavily contested airspace. Ukraine is already operating the Swedish-made CV-90 tracked armored fighting vehicles and the delivery of the Grapen fighter jets would be a more than welcome addition to the Ukrainian Air Force. The Czech-based initiative Gift for Putin has successfully delivered 1,000 RPG-75 anti-tank grenade launchers to the 41st Mechanized Brigade of the Ukrainian Armed Forces. The shipment of these weapons is valued at around 1 million euros and is indicative of the widespread public support for Ukraine's cause. The RPG-75 is a single-shot anti-tank weapon system that is capable of launching 68mm grenades at ranges of up to 1,000 meters. It is known for being a highly effective weapon, particularly against light tanks and armored tracked vehicles. The deployment of anti-tank weapons is crucial for Ukraine, considering the significant use of armored vehicles by Russian troops. The delivery of the RPG-75 would significantly boost Ukraine's defense capabilities by allowing them to deploy small, nimble units against large armored formations.